Eastern Gosh County the West, up to about 30 miles. Parking day 40 on behalf of all of us here at United. Thank you so much for choosing to fly with us. Our pleasure to have you on board. We'll see you on the ground shortly. Orlando, local time is approximately 5.02 p.m. We hope you enjoyed your flight. We look forward to welcoming you again on another United flight. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. As I teased in the previous video, we will be making a trip to the East Coast, not New York, but we've arrived, just landed, Orlando, Florida. We're here mainly for ICAST 2023. It's actually the first time I've ever been to an ICAST, but we're gonna be doing some interesting things along the way. Definitely doing some fishing. I think we're gonna be filming with Native, a uh, new boat coming out, so I'm pretty excited about that. I don't know. Kind of just a random video vlogging essentially. We'll pretty much be winging it. We'll see just what happens, but I'm gonna jam this entire trip into one video. Pretty much the entire vacation, fishing, everything. We'll do one video. Wow, it's long. Gonna go get my bags, gonna get my rental car, and we're gonna meet up with somebody, a familiar face. So I think he actually just landed, and uh, we'll go meet up with him. Got some errands to run tonight, but yeah, that is the video. We're gonna be all over the place Florida, Orlando, ICAST 2023. Here we go. Here we are. There he is. What's up, man? I didn't I see it. I was looking for you. Ah, you dude. You was... snuck up on me. <laughs> We're here. The wizard himself. Oh, man. First time for me here. This is your... This is my fourth time. How's your flight? It was good. Yeah? Yeah, pretty quiet. Are you uh, Carousel 22? Yep. yep. I thought I just heard the bags come, but maybe not. Your case might rival mine in size. Actually. I know. I was going to say, I know what I got in my case, <laughs> but your case? Because I, I was just saying, we're doing a boat shoot, right? Yeah. New boat. And uh, the creator, he's got some work to do, do on the boat before we get the film and showcase it at ICAST. Oh, so yeah. you've got like a box, a bag of tools and everything? Like, how tools you... and uh, yeah. like wiring harnesses and lights and so we're rigging up a boat for and the second year in a row. You brought it all in one case? All in one. No, just one? Yeah. Well, we as I mentioned, Orlando, I had to shed the jacket as soon as I got out of the airport. A little humid. Uh, a lot humid. I think my last time in Orlando was when I was like seven. We went to Universal Studios with my family. Oh, dude. Yeah, so it's been a while. You gotta hit Universal again because I heard the Velocicoaster is the bomb. Yeah. We gotta go hit some roller coasters. Well, we'll see. It's gonna be an adventurous week. Really was well, fun. Bags, rental cars, yep. Bass Pro Shops. Bass Pro Shops. Gotta go to Bass Pro. I gotta pick up a few things. But... Yeah, me too. Dude, this is 40, 48 and a half pounds. Oh, you're going close. Good? Good. It's got basically the entire kayak except the, the whole kayak. Whole kayak it. except the kayak. <laughs> That's what I had to do last year too. Did you bring reels with you? I got my reels, I got baits. Okay, I gotta turn the air on. I'm already drenched in sweat. Is that normal for Florida? Whew. How you doing? All right, license. Looks like one. Where you parked? Damn, that's your rental? Yeah. Dude, it's literally somebody's like work truck. That's probably what they do, dude. That's a lot nicer than mine. <laughs> this will work, this will work. It'll, it'll, it'll do, it'll do. I don't it'll have to do. haul around a kayak, so. Yeah. Hey, I'll buy you a beer if you uh, be my cameraman yeah. for a little while, if you don't mind. Is it just me or is this Bass Pro like bigger than most? I don't know, I've never been this way. I'm going this way. Dude, there's so many like bodies of water. Like, <laughs> <driving. Why? laughs> I guess like when we pond hop, we'll have to just kind of. Yeah, we got to be wary about snakes and gators. They got to get some uh, mosquito uh, with the hunk stuff. So. Need mainly rods. Some baits, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I was told frog rod, I get like a 7.3 heavy, like a 7.6 medium heavy is all purpose. A seven foot medium, maybe for like some fluke, Senko, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe another 7.6 medium heavy. Maybe I just get three, I don't know. All bait casters, no spinning? All casting. All cast. I didn't all even bring it, I'll be honest, I did not bring a spinning reel with me. <laughs> No drop shot this time, Craig? Well, I was talking, so we're going out with a guide on uh, one of the days we're filming. Yeah. Captain Christian Goggles. And when I mentioned spinning reel, he kind of chuckled. He laughed. So <laughs> I, I actually took the spinning reel out of my suitcase and yeah. just put it back in the, All right. in the basket. So that's the type of fishing we like. All right. So what are you going to get? I'm just going to get like a budget, like medium heavy, maybe frog rod. It can work with a medium heavy. See, the thing is, is like once I'm done with the rods, I don't know what to do with them. Like, so that's my conundrum too. Have you ever flew with rods? No, it's a pain. That's right. I've done it once and it was a pain. <laughs> Super expensive. Yeah. So it's really, honestly, the hassle alone is worth it is just worth to pick up rods. Right. All right. Vendettas. These are pretty budget friendly. Oh, okay. Look at that. 7.3 heavy, where are you at? You like the Veritas, huh? Yeah, they're good. You do the Vendettas as well? All right. Medium heavy. So what my goal is, is that something budget for rods, because I'm probably going to end up leaving them, but like real, I can do like a... Yeah, oh yeah, so I was going to say, you know what I'd probably do? Just like, there's like a kid or something. Just yeah. give them to the kid. Dude, probably, huh? Walk in the bank. Yeah. I mean, it won't come with my reels, but right. <laughs> you can get a free ride. I know. All right here, dude. Check it out. Right here. Revo X. 250. That's not bad. And you keep the ring. Yeah, exactly. I actually throw it. <laughs> he said spinning and he laughed at you. Yeah. How much fishing am I actually doing? Uh, knowing you, probably quite a bit. You'll be carrying four rods with me. Spinner chatter, horse swim jig. Only in Florida once. Well, hopefully more. But yeah, uh, right. Uh, I got rods right. in the shop a little now. Yeah. I got set. frogs. The only thing I might want to pick up are speed worms. I don't have any speed worms. When do you ever throw a speed worm? Never, but that's what goggles told me. <laughs> speed worm and uh, swim baits, like little like five, six inch swim baits. Zoom makes a good speed worm. There you go. Speed Senko. Speed Senko. That's a speed worm, but Senko. Pick up a pack of those. Seven inch. We need more, let's come back here. You want to need? take the camera, you're good. Uh, if you want, unless you need more. What do you nah, think? I'm good. Yeah, one more stop. All right. Got to go see the fish. Right? All right, got to go see tank. the tank. I actually like this reel. It's actually pretty cool. Oh, there it is. No, look at the fish that we don't catch. Yeah, <laughs> for real. Oh, that's that's got to be nine, right? That's got to be at eight. I'm going to say eight. That is a drum, dude. How did that coexist? I thought that was like a. And you got a little. Is that gar? You don't see those in uh, the tanks in California. You know, it's been so long since I've caught a fish that size, Greg. Hey, I'm right there with you. <laughs> that's like a two pounder right there. <laughs> that's what we catch on the Delta yeah, right now, right there. That's, that's the fish I'm used to. Oh, yeah, that right there. That guy came out right, right. there. That's, uh -huh. to. that's funny. I've never seen that before. Wanted. Do you get fish for the prey? Well, we're looking for eight pounders. All right, we got everything we need? I think so. Go check out. Oh, good. <laughs> got the goods, Greg. We've got the goods. Productive so far. Yeah, not too humid out here. Well, the squirrels in Florida are different. They're like yeah. smaller. Man, what yeah. time is it? I think it's dinner time. Definitely dinner, beer time. Yeah. Luckily, everything's kind of close. I think yeah. the hotel's about 15 minutes away. Westgate Spa and Resort. I'm at the Double Tree. <laughs> All right, let's go get some beers and some food. Let's do it. And check in the hotel. Yes. Gotta check in. Reservation for Blanchard? Yeah. Low is good. Low. Yeah, if you have it. We're here right now. Okay. This building. Got a question for you. Is there any good fishing around here in the bank? Can I go fishing? No fishing? Is, is, is it not allowed or is it not good? Okay. Don't worry, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll figure it out later. Okay. Don't worry about it. The museum, the museum, sign inside, one for the keys, the parking permit, uh, follow him, enjoy, enjoy your stay. I know, boss, when everything yeah, goes, how are you? I'm gonna get your welcome package in the map and you're good to go. Where are you coming from? California.
California. Nice. Yeah, here for the fishing convention. Oh, shoot, really? Yeah, I was gonna say, the water back here. You go fishing back there? Mm -mm. No? no idea. I haven't oh, been you don't fishing know. since my old neighborhood. We used to have a lake. Okay. Because there's so much water around here, but I don't know if there's any fish. <laughs> I said, ask before we do it, so that way you don't get kicked off. But just I heard if there's no sign, no problem. I don't know if oh, that's right, uh, Here you go, brother. He's gonna take care of you. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you? You must be Gregory. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you, bro. Hey, nice to meet you. So, that's your welcome book. It's full, uh, filled with coupons for local restaurants. And this is a list of all the daily activities. Awesome. So you're all set, man. Awesome. You know how to get to your building? I think so. I got the map. Oh, yeah, thanks, man. The Thank man. you. I appreciate it. Have a good one. You too. Out. Oh man, that's what I was afraid of. Yeah, I was worried about that. If you guys can see that, I knew we were on the water, but the bank access is obviously extremely limited. Maybe a docker or two here I can see. It's just covered in cattails on the bank. Might have to drive around a bit tomorrow and look for ponds. Yeah, there might be some bank access over there though. Yeah, we'll see in the morning. Not a bad spot to be though, that's for sure. This place is dope. In the kitchen. Nice. Not too shabby. Ooh, smells a little funky. All right, here, here's the question. It's my first time. It's your fourth time. Fourth time. Yeah. So you kind of know your way around ICAST. You know what it's about, what happens. Mm -hmm. yeah. Your top three pieces of advice for ICAST. Could be like something to look out for, something to do, something to avoid, yeah. something to try, something to know. Um, top three pieces. Funnest day, like on the water day, is probably, that's a lot of fun. Somebody that's in the industry, a lot of people are out there just jumping on the water. That's Tuesday, um, right? Well, that is Tuesday, prior to. A lot of kayaks. But it's everything, right? It's baits, kayaks, rods, reels. Yeah, rods, reels, everything. All the new stuff that people want you to, to try out um, is there. Ramel works at Newport, and yep. you got the NK300. You got the NK300 that's going to be on a bona fide RVR119. Uh, so you'll let, you'll let people just kind of like mock yeah. down on that thing? Yep. Over under, how many people take? <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna go with the amount of torque that thing has if you're not prepared for it. I'm gonna go over two, I think. Over two? I'm gonna go over two at least. I would probably say, like, really look at the map, really, like, kind of look at who's there and kind of make an itinerary. Like, pick out things that you want to see every day. So you can literally, like, get lost. I, I downloaded the iCast map. <laughs> I'll, I'll show everyone right now. So, floor plan. This is the exhibit hall. That is massive. Yeah, it's absolutely. So I think the only other trade show, I guess, well, it's not even really a trade show. I guess technically ISE. ISE is is big, yeah. but this is specifically all fishing. It's literally all boats, all fishing. ISE seem big to me, but yeah. I mean, you look at this floor plan, and like for example, mossy oak fishing. Yeah. Yes. That's like that's a giant booth, right? Right. It's a giant booth. It's a massive booth. Yeah. So it's not like these are like little tiny pop-up tents. No. These are massive booths. Setup day usually begins on Monday, and I mean we're talking like full-on uh, crews setting up these massive booths, like fully decked out. Dang. Just, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty impressive. Um, um, oh. Yeah, sure. I'll do the Asian wings as appetizer. Go for it. Uh, can I do the Nashville? Is that good? Nashville hot chicken? It's spicy, but it's good. Can I have that, please? 
I'm gonna try the uh, southern fried chicken. Chicken or more chicken? Rather. No, I think it'll be good times. I think last one is definitely when the show ends, there's always booths that have beer. Oh, beer? Yeah, this nice. is beer. Companies will host kegs wow. at the end of the show. So you can literally walk around. Every day or just the every last day? day. Oh, every, every day. day. Yeah, really? Every day. All right, so those are good tips. Yeah. I'd say the other thing I'm curious about, as far as, and this is something I'll probably address, I've been told a little bit, we'll see how it goes. iCast is essentially like companies releasing their products for 2024, or the next year. Just like kind of like a preface, pre-warning. I'm not sure how much I'll just be able to like take a camera and just like go around and like yeah. stick it in booths. So I've talked to a couple people and some companies that's like, like a big no-no. It's like how you get, the boot so i'm not sure if i'll be doing much of that obviously if i get permission i'll do it but one thing that uh, that you can do and every year they have the new product showcase new product showcase is an area like all the manufacturers will submit all their new stuff and uh, they'll put it in this uh, one area if you want to look at all the new stuff and people that that put items or products into the new product showcase that's a good place to go also there's another tip go check out the new product showcase all the new products that people because it's literally people vote they vote Oh, yeah, yeah, products. that's like the awards, right? The awards. How, how they get the awards. Yep. Well, uh, guys, it is almost 10 o'clock. I think the plan will be get back to the hotel tonight, maybe rig up some rods. I might save that for tomorrow. I think after we leave here, I'll be ready for bed. Yeah, we're going to do that stuff tomorrow. Yeah, day one, over. I guess we'll just kind of wing it, see what happens the rest of the trip. Yep, play it by air. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow morning. Later. Alrighty guys, good morning. Man, one of the most challenging things about coming to the East Coast from California is the time zone change. It always takes me a couple days to adjust. So for example, right now it is 7.15 a.m. But California time, it's 4.15. I think I went to bed last night at like 1.30, so. Can use a little extra sleep, but I don't know. I'm kind of excited to wet a line, maybe catch my first Florida bass ever. I think we're gonna have to work for it today because right outside my backyard, I did some scouting this morning. Not too many bank accessible areas. The docks that extend out into the water are all gated and closed off. I don't think they open till like 10 a.m. or something. So we might have to do some driving and find a few places, but figure might as well take you along while I rig up some tackle. Our four rods that we got from Bass Pro last night show you exactly what I brought. I didn't bring much. I think maybe that was one of the positive things about this trip was it didn't seem like you needed a whole ton of tackle. Didn't need a whole ton of baits. I basically got one box of baits, one box of terminal tackle, and then four reels. So it's going to be relatively easy, I think, to kind of get rigged up. And of course, I brought some plastics. So, you know, let me go get the plastics. Got the plastics here and a rod and mule. Let's give this uh, Westgate complimentary coffee a taste. Yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's get started. Let's go to this guy first. Go with the extra heavy fast. Couldn't find a 7.3, which is what I like for frog rods, but this is a seven footer, so I think it should do the trick. This is the one that I'm hoping we do a lot of our damage on. Old Kermit. To go popping or not? Looks like a Florida color, right? Something that would live in a Florida pond. be good and also FYI the frog scent the frog juice give a little extra flavor in case that frog bites really on and maybe we can go to town with it rod number one done let's go to this guy right here this is uh, seven six medium heavy got my Revo SX here this is the reel that I use my spinner baits on and chatter baits from what I'm Hold gold chatter baits are the ticket. Let's see what that does. All 
right, rod number two assembled. Let's go with the other 7.6 medium heavy. I don't know, for me personally, that's like the most versatile rod. A 7.6 medium heavy, you can get away with a ton of stuff. Of course, moving baits, chatter baits, spinner baits. You could flip with it. I mean, I wouldn't go crazy with the weight, but you could punch and flip with it. Jigs for sure, finesse jigs and flipping jigs. You could frog with it. You could throw a worm on it with a small weight. Say probably cranking and you know, something where you need more of a parabolic rod. Maybe not be the first choice, but I'd say Overall, if I were to only have one rod, if I could only pick one rod for multiple uses, it'd be a 7.6 medium heavy. Question is, what do we put on this one? I'm just thinking, maybe I should get a golf cart. I wonder if I can like rent a golf cart or something. You know what, let's put a swim jig on this one. FYI, for people that frequently ask, I just forget to put it in the videos, my go-to knot for fluorocarbon applications, all fluorocarbon applications, unless I'm doing, a, say, like a drop shot where I need a weight at the bottom, the Jimmy Houston knot. Just double your knot over, just went through the bait, I doubled my knot, pinch point right there, got my finger here, got this end, one, two, three, take that loop, go right in between, that loop where you pinched, you can wet it, and then just pull it tight. You're gonna have three spots you need to cut. Basically three tag ends, and there's that knot. I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna need four rods to go bank fishing, because I've got, like I said, two 7.6 all-purpose rods. But our fourth rod is one that we'll definitely be bringing with us for lighter plastics, stuff we uh, may want to cast a little further. Something we can use to downsize. I brought a reel with 12-pound line on it, thinner diameter line, something that can throw those smaller baits. And then, of course, the appropriate reel. I don't know, though, in Florida, do people really downsize that much? This is our seven foot medium. See, no spinning. Didn't have to bring a spinning. And this guy would be our weightless worm. Three out worm hooks. Could go wacky style. This would be a five inch worm, but I don't know. Seems like there's gonna be a ton of vegetation in these ponds, especially fishing from the bank, that I think weedless has to be the situation. Do my knot. Okay. Good. Trimmed. Oh, there's my bag of goodies. Not new one. All right. I think we're rigged up. Should we go fish the bank somewhere? Just did a little uh, quick recon scouting. Actually, before I decided to make my way out with everything, believe it or not, I think I'm only gonna need two rods. There are a couple of openings down the way, but lots of lily pads too. So I think I just need a frog, and then I actually ended up tying on a little Texas rig grub. So yeah, maybe just going out, exploring a little bit will give me a good idea as to what potentially is going on out here. Yeah, I think we're ready. Got the chesty baits. Man, it's weird going fishing without the kayak. I feel like it's almost harder for me. Let's go give her a whirl, why not? My GoPro looks like super foggy. Like the lens is kind of getting all fogged up. It's a little windy. And you can see like fish we can expect, maybe. That's just like the Bass Pro Tank. You can see here how we can't get to the bank. There's all this stuff right here. I'm not about to go walking through that in, uh, in Florida of all places. Find some nice clean areas where I can see where I'm stepping. All right, this seems kind of safe. Keep my distance a little. I mean, that looks froggy, right? All right, first cast ever in Florida. I haven't fished lily pads in a minute. I'm kind of wishing I got here a little earlier. I wonder how deep I'm fishing. I can tell with my little Texas rig. Throw that just to gauge what depth we're in. I could be fishing in six inches of water, which I guess maybe that doesn't matter too much. Let's see here. Hey. 
Wow, I look like a real professional right now. people have fished over here. See, I wish the whole lake was lined up like this. Let's move on. Might have to be doing some driving. Yo, what up? Yo, what's up, man? What's going on? Nothing. Dude, I walked the bank a little bit, but there's only like a couple of spots you can even access the bank without having to, you know, get in some tall grass. So I don't really think this is a very good bank fishing spot. Ah, uh, dude, no. no we're, we'll, we'll cruise around a little bit and see. All right. Um, what are you up to? Uh, I'm just finished pulling up and then uh, yeah, I'm ready to go. All right, do you want me to meet you at your place, or do you want to come here? It's up to you. Uh, you, got a good, you got a good parking spot? I could probably just come over there and pick you up. You sure? Yeah. All righty. Okay, cool. I'll just walk to, like, the spot that you drove in yesterday, like, right by the main lobby yeah. thing. Yep. I'm just going to grab uh, water real quick, and then I'll be over there. Okay, I'll be ready. All right. See you. Hey. Excuse me, ma'am. Could I trouble you for a ride to the main front? The lobby? Yes, please. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, thanks. How are you today? I'm good. So good, thank you. Are you ready for this heat? Oh, yeah, it's super humid here. I'm not used to it. I don't know how you guys live here. <laughs> yeah, the heat is like it's burning your skin. Skin. Yeah, so my friend's picking me up and we're gonna go. The good fishing is the ocean. Yeah, thank you so much. Florida fishing truck. Oh, really it makes me jealous. I know. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice truck. The goal for today for me is to catch one fish. I don't care what size, what kind. I don't give. A, I don't care. It's me too. Just gotta fill the bike. Your destination is on the left. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, looks froggy. It's a little froggy. You get some vegetation at the edge there. Yep. This will do? I think this will do. That'll do for sure. Yeah. What do we got? Take your poison, man. Take your poison, man. Right? Oh, either black or white. This is usually what it goes. Pop in. Regular. That'll work. Yep. Only tool you need, right? That's tool. Good call. That's it. <laughs> Risky area, the tall grass. Yeah. That's where all the big ones live, though. All right, well, it already looks better than the place I'm staying at. fish in here. Felt like a little one, but I was just saying, I saw a couple of fish out there busted. They seem small, though. Definitely got bit. Something pulled at it. Of course, the fish are out in the middle. Oh, there's another bite right there. It's a little one. Swim bait might be a little too big, maybe. Maybe they're not even bass, I don't know.
And this is why I don't bank fish. <laughs> Not in July in Florida, at least. Oh, it's hot, dude. Holy crap. Of you right now. It's bank fishing. <laughs> uh, no, there's a cut path right here. Looks like maybe you would like park over here somewhere. Oh, yeah, shoot. I mean, we can go scope it out. It, okay. yeah. Go check it just in case. Dude, the GoPro overheated. I was like, oh boy, this is Florida. It's gonna be an issue. Is that always an issue? Always. I figured they would figure it out by now. Yeah, what a thought. Turn right onto Hazeltine National Drive. It seems like if I got bit twice on a, that paddle tail, maybe they want to chase? Yeah, maybe. Well, that's how I was thinking spinner bait, but it was too easy. Yeah, dude, you have to like every top. cast, of, no matter what bait, unless it's a frog, you're picking that LG off. You know, can we fish from the truck? I know, right? That's weird. Yeah, they're getting hotter. Yeah, yeah. Look how you can see kind of the bottom, some of these areas. Yeah, give it a shot. Might as well. That's not the worms. Probably we're spawning up in this earlier this year, meaning December yeah. last year. <laughs> what you got? Uh, I guess I'll just go with this guy. Yeah, okay. Whatever. If I get bit, it should be a good one though. Yeah. A couple more birds over here. That might be good. Aren't there like pythons and stuff that live down here? Or is that uh, more South Florida? Everglades? More Everglades. I'm hitting bottom. It doesn't feel as weedy. It feels like there's actually like dragging it on something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I had a bite right there. Dang it. Got bit. Got bit. That was a good bite too. Shoot. Oh. I think I know what's gonna work. Got an idea, got an idea. I had a good bite over there. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna change over to a small underspin, I think. Oh, huh? I got, it was a good bite. Almost jerked it out of my hands. I think I should have done a smaller swim bait all along, but we'll see. Tingles. People are going hard from the bank over here. You get bit? Something grabbed the end of it. Didn't get all of it. Alright, well, I downsized, so we'll see. Change helped. Yes, Ramel. Show him real quick. Yo, yo. Yeah, Greg. Finally. Alrighty, thank you, sir. Be safe out there. Ah, yeah, I should have known to downsize a while ago. Third, maybe. I knew they were eating the swimmer. They're just like, the first one was just too big. <laughs> Took some work. I think that's why bass fishing is so rewarding because it's so dang tough sometimes. You try so many things, you make so many casts, you spend so much time out on the water or from the bank. And when you finally get bit, it feels so good. <laughs> oh. Just about 12 o'clock, bank fishing over for a couple, a couple of reasons. It is, I mean, we're not used to Florida. I'm not used to it. No, it's hot. It's probably not even that bad for Florida standards either. But uh, good time to get off. As we mentioned, Ramel is rigging a boat this afternoon. A couple of boats, one of which I'm very excited about. Oh, what do you think? I think. For, uh, your fifth. Sorry? I always drop this. 
for your finish time? Finish time, I'm thinking, I'm giving myself two and a half hours. That's the, that's the target time. I did a lot of uh, leg work at home as much as I could, so rigging in uh, Florida humid heat out and outside is not fun, so we're gonna try to jab through it real quick. Well, I'll be excited to see what uh, you come up with. I think this new boat is gonna be pretty much a combination of what we've learned the last three or four years, and just rigging boats in general, the trends that are popping up, motors mostly, geared towards having boats as pre-ready for any type of motors as possible on the market. So I think you're starting to see that now. This new boat is definitely geared towards that. We gotta run some errands, do a few things, and uh, see you guys in a couple hours. Oh, and by the way, first Florida bass. Ha, <laughs> mission <laughs> Howdy. How are you? Man, you guys are sweating it out right now. What's up? What's going on, man? How are you, man? Good to see good you. See you hey. How was your uh, travel? Oh, it's good. It's good. good. What's up, dude? How are you, man? I would Just give you a hug, but yeah. I'm uh... sorry. I'm going to be that way in about one second. Man, oh man, this it looks sick. Holy. <laughs> Ramel's like, yeah. <laughs> this thing literally came out Friday, so I had zero time at the factory to even look at it. So it hasn't even touched the water yet. This one, no. It's crazy. It's like a different look completely. Uh, yeah. In a good, it's in a good way. Yeah. So you got in yesterday? Yeah. How about you guys? Just this morning? Just straight uh, drive. Straight Two drive. Hours. Eight and a half or Ooh. so. Yeah, that's a bit of a doozy, but a little haul. Not horrible. With a trailer of kayaks. Yeah. That's Man, always man. fun driving on the I four. <laughs> a little sketchy. Who's gonna wheel this thing down there? Uh, I thought you were. That's oh, part of the video. Of <laughs> what do y'all think? Ten winter pounders. <laughs> All right, folks, as mentioned, we are here. Uh, I guess this would be the native watercraft house. Uh, we got some folks in the background rigging up kind of the boat we've been hyping up. The Titan X 12.5. We've got everyone. We've got a film crew. We've got the wizard. Everybody here. I'm just seeing them rig this thing up. It's insane. When you think of the perfect kayak, perfect fishing kayak, this might be what you imagine. I don't see anything missing from it. This thing is absolutely insane. It's not even done. I mean, just a quick little peek and we'll go into more detail certainly as the show goes on but a dual power poles we've got an nk 300 check out these hatches we got a rear hatch we've got a front hatch up there i think you guys know what that is for a lot of battery needs but that's okay that's why they made these big hatches check out the seat man look at the seat it's got a little swivel action Pedal drive, of course. Uh, here's a little new feature for me. Foot steering, internal rod storage. I think you guys know what's probably happening here. Big front hatch and a mounting plate for a motor guide. Here's the magic man right here. Oh, what's up, YouTube? <laughs> So obviously you don't have to put all this stuff on here, but it's nice to have the option. Yeah, I'm super excited to uh, eventually try this boat out. I think tomorrow we'll be getting this out in the water. We'll be doing some filming tonight just to go over the features. I don't even know what to say. This thing is crazy looking. So I'm excited to get it out there and do some fishing. It's about five o'clock right now. Boat is just about done, right, Ramel? Just Close, about. Closing Almost. in, closing in. Okay. Head down by the water, get the shots done, the filming done, and uh, we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Okay. 
Okay, good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning. My gosh, this trip, it's weird. This trip seems like it's been so short, yet so long at the same time. And we're not even halfway through it. But yesterday, last night, obviously we did the shoot for Native, introducing the new Titan X 12.5. And it's an exciting boat. I've never seen a boat for me personally like this in a while. It's just, um, you know, it is a Titan reiteration essentially, but it feels like a completely new kayak. And I'm really excited. Uh, as mentioned today, I'm actually gonna get a chance to go out on that boat, test it, hopefully slime it up, catch a bass out of it, and really just get a feel for the boat. Oh, by the way, a little breakfast, blueberry parfait. Uh, this place is really nice. This resort is, I don't know if I'd come here again just myself, like I said, but yeah, for a family or whatever, vacation, getaway, it's legit. There's like three water parks here, a couple of shops, some stores. I'd be a little bit more social and uh, shoot this at one of their uh, little tiki bars or something, or at the breakfast place, but man, there's music going on everywhere so you guys probably know in the YouTube world copyright audio is a thing guys plan today it's about 12 o'clock actually I gotta leave in about 15 minutes because we are meeting Captain Christian goggles and the rest of the crew do some fishing get some more content the one thing I did want to say to you guys before we get out there is I don't know if I'll be able to actually wear my chest mount. I'm thinking no, because again, this isn't really for me. This is for native and showcasing the boat to the world. Obviously with that kind of thing, maybe having a big strapped camera on my PFD wouldn't be the most ideal look. So probably won't be able to do that. But I'm gonna see if we can slap on a GoPro somewhere on one of those gear tracks and uh, at least get the fishing footage because fingers crossed, we'll get out some fun fish today. So I'm gonna eat some breakfast, get fueled up here, and I will see you guys in a little bit. Captain Christian Goggles. What's up, man? Greg, nice Pleasure to meet you, man. Good to meet you in person, Heard dude. Heard a lot of good things about yeah. you. Oh, well, that's good. Uh, dude, my, my tournament partner, I'm like, yeah, this guy's coming out with us. His name's Greg. He's like, oh, no, dude. I follow that guy. I was like, oh, dude, this guy's solid. I'm like, oh, all right. cool, man. I appreciate it. I'm like, sweet, sweet. He's yeah, like, he's yeah. a good, good people. So. Yeah, awesome, man. I'm you excited. You got your, your rods and stuff? Um, dude, I got it all. Four rods. Let's take a look at what you got. Yeah, yeah. Where's going. I got to make sure you're ready. Uh, yeah. So, okay. Oh, is this new? Yeah, it's this new uh, Swamp Lord by Berkeley. I was gonna say, I don't think they had a frog. Greg, right? where's your Texas rig? I've got some, my stuff. We I've need that. We need yep. that. Texas rig? Okay. Definitely. Yep. Let's tie one on. Should I lose chatter or? Oh uh, no, no 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 no! Uh, you want to keep this? Uh yeah, that's not. A, is that a confidence bait for you? No, that's like my finesse setup. It's on okay. A, it's on a medium rod. Keep it. Keep it. Um, definitely frog. Definitely keep the frog. Okay, frog for frog. sure. Frog. Um, well, let's do what, what rod are you gonna throw a worm on? I need you need a braid one for that. Well, you can throw a floor. We're gonna skip. So, here's what we're gonna do pads for the frog. We're gonna be fishing like those creek entrances, which have lots of pads. Okay, the chatterbait's gonna be good, like when we're moving in between areas, and then uh, dock skipping because okay. it's gonna be hot. There's some nice, like, like you know, four is typically shallow, right? Yeah, these these docks we're gonna skip probably like 10 15 feet somewhere, which is like. Really? Primo. Okay. Let that puppy sink down. Skip them, uh, Texas rigs? Texas rigs. Okay, cool. Just throw a nice old Senko on there and just yeah. whatever you want to, whatever rod you want to do that on. Take it out for him. Put the, yeah. put the Senko yeah, you, on there. Honestly, you tell me what to throw. How big a weight? I like eight. I have an eight. I got you, bro. I, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to get in, into your stuff here. I just saying, yeah. I got everything if you want. Good, man. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, you're exciting. pegging it out? Yeah. Okay. Did you? Yeah. My man. I'm stoked to get out there with you. You better catch him, buddy. Dude, I want to. Because, you know, so I'm not going to be fishing. I'll be watching you. <laughs> okay. To endorse it. Oh, nice. So it's crazy. What is a turtle box? Turtle box, seriously? Yeah. Turtle Box is the best, loudest outdoor speaker that you can buy. Shout out to Turtle Box. They are an incredible group of guys out of Austin, Texas. And uh, yeah, they got the jams. This thing's fully waterproof. Oh, so you're just bumping music. You're just bumping music. Oh, okay. Music. I thought that was yeah. part of the shoot or something. Oh, no. This is a... Uh... For fun. That's amazing. It's like, man. That's like all the way, but I listen to it like this. But it's the best outdoor speaker <laughs> there is, man. Heck yeah, man. 
Super cool guy. All right, so Koji, finish the film up. Epic, by the way. I don't know how you did that so fast. I don't know. I don't want to say that like it's the boring part of shooting, but today on the water, better, more action. Today is what we came for. Yeah, the fishing. Yeah, yesterday was like PR, logistics, getting a video out there for the sake of launching a new product. Yeah. But today is like, all right, Greg's in town. Yeah. He's itching to fish. Time to rip some lips. We got Captain Goggles. We got Captain Goggles. He's putting, putting us on, us the, on the spot. Yeah, we got Ramel the wizard. Yeah, we got Ramel engineered the whole thing. Justin's there for sport. And I'm, just, I'm coming through for the video stuff. Yeah. Frog shot, frog blow up. Yeah, that's frog the blow up. That's the juice right yeah. there. Yeah, frog blow up is going to be like, where the boat is going to be right behind you and i'm going to be like over your shoulder and that's about it eight pounder let's go for nine okay maybe before we uh before you start inching into this this high pressure zone we'll get the drone up and do like uh, a okay. top down shot of the frog eat too nice i so think it could work top three shots for today what would you say obviously the frog one a blow up a top water blow up top water blow up a drip shot drip of shot. a bass just like pouring water out of his mouth yeah. Um, and then of course the release because mm -hmm. we don't catch to keep them here. <laughs> no, no, you gotta let them let them swim. I love releases in videos. Yeah, I think it's just like cool. okay. There's like was... there's like an art to it too. Yeah. I've seen some guys like of course they've got the slide out method. You know when they slide it out of the hand mm -hmm. and you've got of course just dunk it in it. What's your but preferred release technique? My preferred release it depends on the fish. Yeah, like with like any saltwater species, we're holding them by the tail. Mm. We're letting them you know kind of wiggle their way through, yeah. or you can. I like your method that you mentioned, you know, kind of under the gill plate, yeah. under the breast and kind of letting it slide off. It just depends. Yeah. I feel like I release smaller fish sliding off the hand. Yeah. But yeah. a bigger fish, I'm like, I'm two handing it. Okay. You know, I'm letting okay. them kind of yeah. do their thing and then I'll let them kind of just and then they swim off slowly. But it's like those juvenile snook that we have here. They fight like they're 40 pound tarpon. <laughs> Big minnows, right? Big minnows. Big yeah. Minnows, dude. He's never caught a tarpon, but maybe we'll get him on one when he's down. Yeah, I'll again. say this. I might have to come back. I feel like there's a lot to experience here. And this is just a taste this week. So I don't know. I'm excited to go fishing. Catch maybe a giant fish. I don't know. It's going to happen, bro. I like it. We'll see you guys out there. tonight? Lots of beers tonight? Oh, hell yeah. What was that? Yeah, yeah. Are you seats up? <laughs> nah, you're good. Alright. Wow, no. this thing feels crazy. Push that one first, keep this foot up. Yeah. And then let this foot go, and then push that one. A little weird. You're gonna have to give yourself a little time to get used to it. Uh, pedal out a little bit, uh, so throttle's the same. Uh, right turn on the pedals. Get the power button. Zero. Zero. Oh, yeah, go for it. That's got a turn, dude. Wait, so rods? Yeah, rods. What else you got? That's uh, it. I just want the boom for the back. Yep. Remember, I just have to flick it and then turn it. Yep, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. You got one pound. Power pole. Power pole, the only ones right now I have to sink the other. Basically, double tap. Double tap up is going to come up. Or you can just do it manually, just like tap it. Double tap down. It's gonna go down all the way, and then it's gonna hit the bottom. But to get it back up, hit double tap up, and then it'll, and then it'll come up and reset itself. That's it. Is it gonna storm? Huh? Is it gonna storm? It is lighter, maybe. It's going to
gets like this, they're like a worm. So you can, I start with the crawl, and I throw the worm, and you can just crawl. But well, not yet, we gotta wait for the camera. Take care. Take that mic, put it in your crawl. Alright, so should I just start taking? Yeah. Hey, but don't go in there until the camera's ready. Yeah, I will. First way back or yeah, yeah, yeah. Go with the frog first and then hit the tree, hit the hit the few cypress trees further back that you haven't hit. And you want to hit the lay down tree on your left right. with that worm. Called it, Captain Goggles. Hey, that's a good fish, baby. Let's go. Yeah. Come yeah. on, I don't want to scream on camera, but let's go, baby. Greg, that's what I'm talking yeah. about. Good work. You let him, dude, that's a nice starter fish. Yeah. Let's yeah. go. Yeah, it is. Mikey, yeah. Yeah. Do you want in the live well for something later? Uh, just in case, sir. Sure. Julian, can we fill it up? Yeah. How's it feel? First fish came all this way. It was worth it. It's a good strike, too. Yeah, that was fun. That's cool. <laughs> Didn't take long. It wasn't on a drop shot. Hey. Hey. Three and a half, four. Three and a quarter. Three and a quarter, man. Yeah. You get the shot? Yeah, I got the shot. <laughs> First fish, baby, in the tide. Let's go. Hell yeah. No, that's, a, that's a good, you got the hit. The too. only thing I wish I did, I wish I boat flipped. I wish I had a hand liner. I did wish you boat flipped. Yeah. Oh, I thought you flipped. Okay. I didn't. I hand lined it. Or I you know, flipped it with my hand. I'll boat flip the next one. While you're doing that, you see the lay down yeah. tree here? Yeah. You haven't even touched that. Then, Pop the, the frog a couple more times, pull out that worm, and really pick it apart. When you throw that worm in, you're going to cast it, let it sink all the way bottom, and let it chill. Okay. And you're going to reel up, okay. you're just going to slow drive. Drag. Okay. Okay. Can I sneak into that crevice? I want you to, well, I, you haven't hit a frog on the tree yeah. yet, so I want you to make one more in there, and then, then I want you to go in long ways and get right right in there. Yeah, gotcha. Alright? I think if I get in this little corner, I can... Don't worry, don't worry. Alright. You know what? Actually, I think five feet further. I don't even have to get there. I can be right about here. Yep. Two, baby. Nice one, baby. He's on it again. The gods. Come on. Come on. I told you that tree, baby. I told there. you. You're there. Told That's you that nice. tree looks good. Nice yeah. fish. Flip him back in there. Back in the tree. Back in the tree. I told you you bring me a, you bring me a good man that can fish. We can, we can go to work here. Dude, that was clutch. Greg, I kind of want to see you punch on the right. See that, like, two by four? Yeah. yeah. Let's see if I can. Stuff, man. Pull the camera out, son. Pull the camera out. It was weird. He was like on the other side of the boat. 
You went, I know. Under, you went under your cut. Yeah, I had him on for a while. <laughs> All right, let's let's start. Let's action. Yeah. Roll him. That's a workhorse. What's the name of That's the uh, A7S3. Oh, that's the good freaking work, buddy. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Good job. <laughs> You're right, they're there. Freaking natural, man. Dude. If he comes long ways like that, can we still get it from here? Or On this side of the brush? More. Let's, uh, we're gonna go like this. You're gonna put the front of the kayak over there. Power pole down here. Get a couple more good casts. You get a nice skip. A couple okay. nice skips. You haven't really hit where you're at right now because you're there. Yeah. Then you got some pads over there. You gotta fish the frog too, okay? Sounds good. good. I got video of that. Oh my goodness. What the hell was that? Happy swim jig time. Uh oh. Greg, is that fish dead? Jake is on the bank. No, I think it went in the water. It, it's in the water. It flopped in. <laughs> I don't have a TikTok. No, it broke me. Nah, a good fish. I know. <laughs> no, I think he, he must have wrapped me. Oh, no, man. I mean, every fish you lose is big, but that, that actually felt like a big fish. All the way back there. Do the shots, I'd rather do them here because when we get there, we're gonna fish. I don't want to be buzzing around, you know what I mean? Okay, okay. let's roll. Oh that 
center canal. You know, you got some cypress knees. You want me to swim it or drag? Drag it. Drag. Cut that tail open. I will. I, don't, I ran out of black and blue. Do it. Do whatever you were doing. Remember, ready? Hey, he, uh, Koji saw that fish bust. Koji, way to, way to think outside the box on that. What? Being right in front of it. Say no hobby. <laughs> <laughs> I That's a felony. You see it get sucked, did it get sucked in? Yeah. You got it? Suck it yeah. in? Oh, man. You got some of this beautiful Spanish moss just blowing in the wind. Yes. Like, this one's really good. Oh, yeah, that's a great. A lot of texture. Yeah, let's keep going. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna can, say try walking. That's, some, that's like someone's whole like volleyball court. You probably yeah. can't go on that. Just jump on the back of his back. I was about to say, let me just say, sit on his back. You probably, probably could, stand yeah. right there. You could. I actually do want some more close up. Can you sit on that box right there? Yeah, sit on the X net box. There's gonna be one around that corner for sure. That's not the door right there. Who's, uh, who's got the uh, behind the scenes here? I'm like half right there. Half right there. <laughs> Yeah, you guys, you guys keep going back there until you get one. No, someone wants this real quick. Yeah. You gotta push all. No, we're good. We're good. I think if I get right in the center here, then I can fish all this. I didn't hook him, so I just got to. He did the same thing. He kind of like, he yeah. kind of like sucked it. Oh my oh. god! Oh. That was a, that was a big one, dude. That was a big one, bro. No! Oh my god, that's huge. That's oh. awesome. He said, please stay on. He hopped off. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Dude, that was so sick.
Another long day. Man, oh man. Crazy, 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 crazy. But I'll tell you what, it's been a lot of fun so far, guys. Today was uh, definitely interesting weather-wise, conditions-wise, fishing-wise. Had some uh, some fun catches for sure. It sounds like Koji got pretty much all the checklist items for the shoot, including two frog blow-ups. Had a couple of sloppy moments, to be honest. But I'll tell you what, I definitely felt the pressure today. I mean, because you're, you're fishing targets, you're fishing areas, you're listening to the guide. You want to make sure the angle's right. Everything's uh, perfect. And I'm making casts and actually kind of thinking about it a little bit more than I normally would but um, no I eventually got pretty comfortable out there I did have a couple of mishaps broke one off that felt I mean we say that but it felt good and then the frogfish which was insane because you guys saw it Koji was literally on the back of the kayak standing up with his camera and he saw one that busted something way up shallow it must have been like six inches of water we pitched in there missed it second pitch in there thing smokes it I don't think I got a great hook into him but that fish just swam right to the boat and flashed and came off what a day what a trip it's been i cannot believe it's only monday night that's insane and the show the show itself icast starts tomorrow tomorrow we got to get our registration badge we're going to go to the demo days on the water days and then i don't know i have no idea what's after that what we'll be doing and then wednesday and thursday will be the show icast the show itself of course hanging out at the native booth we'll bounce around and see different things i am smoked i've been going to bed around like one o'clock each night still haven't really caught up with this east coast time guys tomorrow i will see you bright and early and we'll get our tuesday started should be another fun day hi how are you good uh, is this uh icast parking yes oh, okay great it's gonna be 21 30. okay apple or google pay whichever one yep all right and i can park anywhere mm -hmm. and you can come and go as many times as you need to because you got this receipt that shows that you paid oh then right it on Oh, perfect. Great. Thanks so much. Have a good one. I guess I'll wait to go in. Hmm. I think we got a window. I was too scared to come in, the lighting. Did you get your badge? No, where do I get that? So, see those exit signs? Yeah. Just follow that wall, and then you'll see south registration, and then you go like out of the doors, up the escalator, oh, okay. and then to the left. So that way? Yeah, literally okay. like that way. I actually yeah. gotta run to my car and grab something, and then I'll be back in, so. Yeah, I was gonna go to the on the water thing, but I, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's kind of clear enough. I mean, yeah. I'm definitely gonna stop over there and say what's up to the Newport guys. Um, but yeah, I gotta run, I gotta make a call at noon, so in five minutes, but okay. I'll see you in a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll see you then. Did you like uh, the, some of the footage we've put so down? killer. Yeah. So killer, dude. I'm working on more of the content today, so. Nice. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll meet up with you later, dude. Sweet. Yeah. Hi, Greg. Hey, what's up, man? Am I going the right way? Registration? <laughs> Oh, okay. Does it matter? Exhibitor? Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay. All set? Yes. All right, thank you. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to get on the water. Or... I don't know exactly how the demo days will be going, but guys, we made it. We got the official registration wow i feel official i got a badge and everything but 
think the game plan for right now as far as the video the content goes because there's gonna be a lot of stuff going on a lot of people to talk to I really want to just highlight what we have going on today demo days on the water stuff it's just some of the setup thing I mean mainly today and even yesterday a lot of these booths are just setting up the official show the exposition starts tomorrow a lot of setup going on right now it's busy still a mind blown as to how big this place is and how big this show is it's it's wild I don't know how much b-roll we've done in this video at this point but I think today right now would be a great time for a little b-roll some cool shots give you guys kind of the highlights of this afternoon let's head on in Alrighty guys, it's about 6.30. First official day of ICAST is over. Luckily it did stop raining, it stopped storming, so we went to demo days, the on the water day. Got to see some pretty cool new products, some new innovations, and uh, see some old friends, meet some new people. So solid day one, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. But I'll say the one thing, all these baits, all these boats, these new lures, everything, and I have yet to make a cast today. I know I went fishing yesterday, but I got a little time right now before we head to dinner tonight, so I figured, why not strap on the chesty, take a rod out. Fun day one. Now let's uh, go see if we can catch a fish to top it all off. Chest camera's rolling. Get the shades for this one. And we're just taking a worm out there and do some dragging. Think. The one dock that I wanted to fish looks like it's open. Hey, you can access it. So we go see if we can fish it. I don't know. Maybe. Hi there. Am I allowed to go fishing on the dock? Okay, thanks. How you doing, man? Any luck? Uh, you got a bite. You got a bite? Got robbed. What are you using? Strip. Oh, okay. Right on. Grab one if you need one. Oh, I got a worm right here. We'll see. Yeah, that work too. I heard there's fish in here, so. Yeah, are there? I was getting some last night. It was just hard to get them out. I was over in the brush. What do you catch, a bass? Um, last night, I thought it was a bass on there, but I didn't get it out. It was over, you know, what made me think it was a bass, because you know when they fight, they jump. Yeah. And that's what it kept doing. Oh, okay. I couldn't get it past the brush. You see all the little the, the oh. greenery and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you couldn't get on the pier. You couldn't get on this last night. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So you're just so, fishing from the bank. So I was fishing from the bank. There, I, I circled it around the other day, and there's not many spots you can... That's, that's the way they're right here. Yeah, I can see that. Man. Oh, it's pretty clear out here. <laughs> Yeah, I heard those get pretty big in here. Those gar. Uh oh. Uh, six forty-five. She a goner? Uh, the, line. the line wasn't going, it was stuck. You got a backup? Yeah. You got a backup? A backup rope or line? Yeah, rod and reel? Yeah. No? You uh you here all week? Um I'm actually leaving tomorrow. I just got here on Saturday. I uh I'm here for the fishing show. There's like a big expo going on. But I flew I actually came from California. I go to leave, you can have this one. <laughs> Oh, you got a fly too? Yeah. Oh no, I wish you didn't say that. I was about to say, you can have this, man, but you can't take this on the plane. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's that. What are those called? Agler Woods? Ah, it's Abu Garcia. Yeah. yeah. You want to throw this one? I got other rods in my room. Oh, oh nice. Get your strip and put on here, man. Uh, I'm telling you, they're gonna eat that. Look, and it lasts. It's almost like a worm. This hook isn't big enough, I don't think, huh? It's not going all the way through. Let me go grab some tackle. You want some weights? Please. Yeah. Please. Just, just any weight? That'll, that'll. Yeah. Damn. 
I was gonna say, guys, that's like the perfect opportunity. But the guy said he's leaving tomorrow and he's flying, or else I would have totally given him that whole setup. I might still offer it to him. I don't think he can take it. And he said he ain't gonna fish anymore, so. Ah. Stuck him up. Stuck him up. Gonna probably use on this particular trip. One more tackle, anyways. Hooks and weights, bag of tackle. You can have all this, bro. What? Yeah, dude, take it all, man. Hey, man thank you, man. Yeah, yeah, I got a ton of it, so take it. I know you're not fishing much longer, but maybe tonight. What you gonna do with this? Oh. I was gonna give him to some kid or whoever. Why can't we take it? You can't take it on the plane? I could, it's just super expensive. It's almost the same as buying them, so. Yeah, take it, it's the same as if you purchase it. And then, yeah, and then the, the tube you gotta bring it in is like eight foot long and doesn't really fit in any car, so. Honestly, what I'll probably do is just donate them to the, they're not to this place. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, we might be getting the boot right now. Oh, oh man. Lady's coming down. Bad news? Yeah, we're closing now. Ah, that's all right. How do you guys open? 10 a.m. 10 a.m.? Mm -hmm. What about the uh, boats? Do you, can you rent them out or? The paddle boats, yes. You, do, you just can't fish them. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So you can't like sneak a rod in there? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> All right. <Gotcha>. Nope. <laughs> just back through back baits. Tomorrow. Yeah, back tomorrow. Yeah, we might give it another whirl tomorrow morning. guys well next morning i think this is <laughs> attempt number three to catch a fish out of my backyard it is about 9 40 so that uh dock access opens in about 20 minutes which will be good and instant fog go hit the bank spots first and then we'll uh make our way to the dock we do have to go to the expo today so i'm thinking maybe 30 minutes or so of fishing and we'll go change quick and drive over to the expo it'll be another busy day I still can't believe there aren't some frogfish like right in this pad somewhere, you know? Like even a dink. Oh no, nothing yet. I'm I'm crossing my fingers though. I think that dock's our best chance of getting bit. I just don't think these fish are on the bank here, at least not on this side of the lake. It's fake. It's fake. I'm trying to catch a fish on it. Oh, okay. Yeah. You can only fish off the far end on the right side because of the barge. Okay. Okay. I'm only going to be there for like 10 minutes. You're good. Just let her unlock it, do her inspections, and then you're good. Gotcha. Are you good, though? Okay, you're good to head down. Alright, thanks. Does anyone actually ever catch anything out here? Yeah, actually yesterday somebody caught a uh, large bass. Oh, that one? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's the one I'm going for. Yeah, I've seen people have really good luck on the right-hand side. Yeah, well, that's the only place you can fish, she said, so. Yeah. Alright, so they are fishing here. You can see the grass is really good. Oh, you can see bluegill everywhere, actually. It's kind of neat. Just looking. Let me see if I can see him. 
fancy little bluegill or brim, whatever they are. Well, I'll give it a try. Saw something bust out there. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> I should stay home today. I knew I should. No, nothing yet. We tried to get out here the other day, but it was locked up and closed. Yeah, well, I think they're open 10 to 7, something like that. There's some fish around here. Just yeah, we yeah. saw a couple of small ones. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm about to give up. Oh, had a bite. I just definitely got bit. Oh my god, we didn't get skunked. Finally got one. My goodness. Oh yeah, I was just getting out of their way. Yeah, only, that's why. Only on the front yeah. end that way. Because all the fish are here, right? I know, we can't be on the side. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I'm, I'm going to leave after this right here. I called Jill. Alright, there we go. Finally got one. Get in the boot. I was say, the only area you can fish is like right where they're launching those boats. So I'm not a rule breaker typically, but I honestly was just trying to get out of everyone's way. Uh, 315 this is the first bite of the day yep. it's like crazy you don't have any time to do stuff here i know i sound like i'm complaining but i'm not i'm just saying that's just you know what it is been busy yeah 100 time flies i said you don't have an agenda locked in find yourself wandering quite a bit i think the problem is too for me at least there's so much stuff you want to stop at but you can't like get caught up you can't yep. like just you literally can't see everything here so you gotta, you gotta pick and choose. It's funny how many people you see from just like previous years you met across the country or wherever, or have been emailing or texting or talking to, messaging, whatever. Everyone joins up right here in this one little spot in Orlando. Mm -hmm. If you're in the industry, it's an experience to be, you gotta experience for sure. What do you think, Greg, so far? What's your, your take so far? It's cool. I'd do it again. Yeah? I mean, we got one day left tomorrow. I'd do it again. All right, well guys, that's the update. So we'll continue vlogging this around. Much needed. 
Cheers. Do it. We gotta do this all again tomorrow? Uh, yeah, dude. Yeah, and you do. guys gotta do it on Friday, because yep. I'm leaving Friday. Oh, I'm leaving, I think, Thursday. Sure. All, all right. right, so game Probably plan right now. We're walking around a little bit, doing the whole thing, but we want to see the new product showcase. It's basically where they showcase the newest stuff. Oh, should we grab these dudes? Oh, yeah. Is it Trevor? Is that good? Nope. This Trevor show. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Cheers. Cheers, Griggs. Apparently. I know. Ramel's been a good sport. I mean, you know. Wait, wait. We have a cameraman right here. Yeah, see? That's right. Cheers. Dude, I love this. Dude, behind the camera for the first time. I know. Time. I need to be rigging them like, yeah. I need to be rigging them up. <laughs> we got time for a product showcase still? What time's it close? I don't know. Six? Yeah, I'll come with you guys. Yeah, let's go try to find another beer too. Go to my, go to our booth. You guys got beer? Yeah. Let's go find a new bar. Yeah. yeah. Everybody, we're getting more beer. We didn't make it to the new product showcase yet, but hopefully we'll make it soon. <laughs> part of the show. Part of the show. It's, it's just how it goes. Product okay. It's five. What time is it? Five fifteen. It's been a long day. Got beer though. That's good. I'm out of beer. Any more beer? We'll worry about that later. But last thing for today is the new product showcase. Figured instead of B-rolling, we go take a peek and see what is in the showcase room. Yeah, you start wherever. So yeah, there's like sections and categories. Yeah. So they're, they're all labeled. So this is boats and watercraft. They so got all the new kayaks that were here, new boats, uh, inflatable, so on and so forth. We got the go boat. Here's one that's made a, a little bit of a buzz around here. It's the, uh, what is this called? The go boat. The go boat. So it's blow up, right? Yeah. It's kind of cool. Kind of neat. It's got a trolling motor in the middle. I feel like I've seen an infomercial for this. Yeah, the Supreme Donuts for sure. You got the NRS approach. NRS paddleboard. We got the bonafide S kit. This uh -oh. is uh oh, what's uh -oh. in here? <laughs> what do you think, Greg? Here it is again. You know what I think. Uh, yeah. Cool color. This is the uh, old so, town. So this is the e propulsion. Yep, e assist. Or e assist. Yep. So motor and pedal drive builds it. Yep. Like an e bike, nice. e kayak. Nice. Wilderness inflatable. Inflatable. Yeah. I do have an inflatable kayak, guys. I will use it at some point in the summer, okay. I think. All right, so these are all your lures. All right, so let's cruise on now. So we get into the fresh water, soft lures. So you got all the new baits. The weedless popper. Ooh, hey. Like a, tra like a frog hook on a popper. So what do you think about this as a jig trailer? j Bros lures. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Oh, look at that. That's different. Man. You ever seen this? No. G crack. G crack. It's got like little spider with that right there. A gator lure. A gator lure. I wonder if you could get catch a fish in California on that. Probably. It's not the Delta. You can catch a fish yeah. anywhere. All right. You need a little craw right there. Yeah. Fish daddy. Massive chatterbait. Look at that thing. Big old tube. Big old tube. Very thick, messy. Hey. Wizard Custom Wizard Tackle. tackle. Black it. That's the first gen fish and buzz baits. Hey, we know those guys. Split baits. It's funny, like, I know people always, like, kind of crap on new baits that are basically the same old stuff, but it is, like, new every year. It's, like, different kind of colors, tweaks. So, it is. I think part of being a fisherman, a bass fisherman, especially, is, like, all the collection of lures and lots of kind of cool stuff. At least for me. I guess I could see what kind of goodies are in here. Big old net. It's a big old catch cam net. Accessories here. We've got like uh, just more accessories. I think accessories are probably like the biggest, the biggest things. That's probably what you like. Uh, I like the electronic side, honestly. You gotta see all the new like nets and stuff. Flop box. I don't know. Oh, it's for bait. It's bait. Cooler. Uh, bait cooler. We don't we don't know nothing about that. Greg knows nothing about live bait. Neither do I. Check out tackle management. Okay. All tackle management is always a good one. Start at the end. That's kind of cool. Yep. So I'm using the same orange Walmart bag for my camera gear for like six <laughs> years. So I might need to upgrade. Oh. Bunker hunt. I like first gen tackle management. Coolers. Napco. Salt. A lot of bags. Okay. Bags. Bait sacks. Reels. 
All right, so the one that always pops, there's always one that pops out. That one popped out to me. What is that? Anything right. possible brand. Proficiency. That's a funky reel. Yes. Batteries, batteries, smart battery monitors, of course. Hey, Greg, you should get one of these. What's that? It's that like, camera that you put on your line. Oh, that would be cool. Like, so you can see what's under yeah. the water? No, so you can see what bites your lure. Oh. So it's like actual live yeah. scope, but live, live live scope. Yeah. Honestly, I'd like that just to like dip it down in like 60 foot to see if those are fish or if they're like, you know, yeah. if they're bass or bluegill or right. you always see that kind of stuff. Oh, uh -huh. there's something interesting. So now it's the, uh, it's the, look at that Raymarine. How come we don't have one of those? Axiom 2 Pro. It's a tiny two bit big for my kayak. No way, dude. That's a, a little bit. awesome kayak sail. <laughs> hey, I'm a new Titan, it might fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah it might fit, it might fit. So these are the new uh, motors. Every time we go truck camping or yeah. do an outdoorsy uh, weekend for tournaments, all my friends got like fancy tents and like yeah. rooftop tents. Yeah, the clam. Can I fit that in my truck? Dude, you should find out. It's pretty legit. How how small is this package? Dude, they, they have a booth. I bet you we can find out. I'd have a house for Dude, tournaments. check it out. It's got LED lighting in here. This would make Mike so jealous. Put a bathroom in there, a kitchen. Yeah. Ventilation port for air, yeah, air circulation. The question yeah. is how small does a pack? The pack's really tight, that'd be... I think we need to visit their booth, Greg, to uh, find tomorrow, out. Tomorrow, tomorrow, we'll All right, see. Uh, not a whole lot left, right? No, I mean, you got like uh, your combos and like, you know, your little stuff. Paint That's your own, paint your own fishing lure box. Create a lure. I bet you uh, 10 year old Greg would want to have that. Now let's walk out, guys. We're going to close it up for ICAST. The official expo day one, all over the place, crazy, madness. I knew this trip, especially this day, would be really tough to film, so I gotta give a shout out to Ramel for being a good camera. The only reason why I'm doing this is because I have beer with me, so I'm good. Yeah, yeah we're solid. Yeah, I think that's gonna wrap it up for day one, and uh, dinner tonight, probably? I don't know. I don't know, we're gonna figure it out. Figure it out? Find out where the party's at. All right, well, guys, day one over. Stay tuned for day two.